Okay, so this is a little bit different of a video. I was watching this video today from this guy named Optimus. If you guys don't know who that is, I'll leave his link down in the description below. He was talking about if Apex was gonna kill Fortnite. And obviously, at the end of the video, he said no, because, you know, that's just not gonna happen. Like, Fortnite's already established. But in the video, he talked about how Apex Legends is giving Fortnite competition. And that got me thinking. Call of Duty doesn't have any competition right now. You could say that Blackout is trying to compete with Apex Legends, Fortnite, PUBG, and H1, but let's be real. The numbers show, especially on Twitch for viewership, that Black Ops 4 and Blackout is at the bottom of that list. Now, I don't really play Apex Legends or Fortnite because I'm not huge into BR games. I mean, yeah, they're free to play, but I don't know. I just don't, I, I'm not into BRs, but I did my research and obviously everyone knows that Apex Legends is made by the people who made Modern Warfare 2, Respawn entertainment aka the old infinity war team what's crazy is that apex legends comes out last week or like two weeks ago whenever it was and they hit 25 million players in one week which is insane the game is free to play but regardless that is fucking nuts for a game that had no promotion no marketing or anything after one week that 25 million players and from what i saw on twitter there were a lot of people on fortnite who were getting sick of the airplanes and things like that and just like the noob kind of play style that Fortnite had kind of gone in. As soon as that number of 25 million hit the internet, what do you know? Epic Games releases patch notes for an upcoming patch update that fixes airplanes and all the newbie shit or some of the newbie shit that's in Fortnite. Do you see what happens when competition comes out in gaming? The devs go, oh fuck, we gotta change some shit. Another really good example of this is back in the late 90s with the Monday Night Wars. If you guys watched wrestling back in the late 90s, if you're like my age or older, you most likely know what the Monday Night Wars are. And if you're a wrestling fan, you definitely know what it is. I'm gonna make this very brief. Back in 1994 and 1995, the WWF at the time was a very kid friendly product. WCW came along and started putting out an edgy product and both companies were airing their television show in prime time on Monday nights at 9 p.m. So they're in competition with each other now to see who can win the ratings war. WCW was edgier than WWF at the time and WCW was very close to putting the WWF out of business. But what did the WWF do? They changed what they were doing and they got in the competition and they fucking smack WCW to the ground, dude. And now the WWF is the WWE and blah, 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 blah. Competition brings out the best in people. Do you see this? Fortnite doesn't want to lose their player base to Apex Legends. So they're going to make changes that people have been asking for since the airplanes came in the goddamn game. Call of Duty has no competition in the FPS arcade shooter type of genre. That's known. Halo is not what it used to be. This is my prime example for this video. Back in 2007, you had a bunch of great games come out. You had Guitar Hero 3, you had Halo 3, you had Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, you had Bioshock. Those four games, man, like, and you had Gears the previous year in 2006, but those four games for Xbox or, you know, even just for PS3, whatever, I mean, except Halo, obviously, but like for Xbox, if you played Xbox 360, whatever, you had a huge competition between what was better, Halo 3 or Call of Duty 4. And Halo 3 was king. Halo 3 is still king. Let's, let's make that clear. Halo 3 was king. And even in 2008, Halo 3 was king because Call of Duty 4 and World at War both had a decent amount of players on each game in 2008 because a lot of people didn't like the World War II setting. They liked the modern setting, so they kept playing Call of Duty 4. Competition brings out the best in people sometimes. And other times, some people fail. And we're gonna get into that. There was some game, I don't know what it was called. I, I, I had some weird title game. I don't know. It was like, I don't know, something called like Modern Warfare 2, something like that. I don't know. And it came out in 2009. And that was the response to Halo 3. Halo 3 and Halo games in general normally come out every three years. Uh, not now. Halo 3 comes out in 2007, and so does Call of Duty 4. Well, back then, Call of Duty was doing every other year life cycles. So Treyarch released their game, which couldn't really be a response to Halo 3, considering they started developing World at War in 2006 before Halo 3 was even out. 2007 comes out and Halo Infinity Ward looks at Halo 3 and they're like, oh fuck, damn, we got we have competition. And to be honest, Halo was king for FPS games, even from Halo 1 all the way to like Halo 3. That's like not even competition, like that's not even close. So what did Infinity Ward do? 
They made a banger in Modern Warfare 2! What else did they do? They made a banger! Now, that game is broken to shit, but do you guys realize how much customization and how much change between Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2? Do you guys- you guys get that? You guys understand how much there was that changed? The premise was still the same. It's still an arcade shooter. It still had custom classes and, you know, perks and- you know, kill streaks, but you were able to customize your kill streaks in this game. There was a fucking tactical nuke in this game. Holy shit! A nuke that ends the game? I gotta get that shit! Back in like 2008 and 2009 and 2010, even, there were games that me and my friends would play online that were just like, all right, what do you guys wanna play today? Uh, you guys wanna play Halo 3? All right, cool, yeah, we'll play Halo 3. You guys wanna play custom games? Sure. All right, you guys wanna play MW2 today? All right, yeah, definitely. Me and one of my best friends, Eric, who I'm still friends with to this day, uh, me and him would send texts to each other that literally just said MW2 question mark, H3 question mark, BO1 question mark, and we would hop on. I'm sure not, I'm not the only one that did that. I'm sure everyone that is watching this video, if you played during that time, did that. You know, that, 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 was, the, that was the golden age of Xbox 360 and Xbox Live, man. And even, like, even PlayStation, man. Even PlayStation with Call of Duty. Not so much Halo, but... Okay, so Modern Warfare 2, regarded as one of the best Call of Duties to ever be released, regardless of how broken it is, it's regarded as one of the greatest Call of Duty games to ever be released. Okay, so Black Ops 1 comes out. Black Ops 1 is a step up in a lot of ways from MW2 is, as well. Black Ops 1 is a huge step up from World at War, and you see how Call of Duty games just got better after 2007 because they had competition. Let's fast forward to 2012, and we're gonna stick with this Halo versus COD thing. Halo 4 comes out, and it's got kill streaks and loadouts. Ugh, loadouts. Keep that away from Halo, please. And what does Treyarch come out with? Treyarch comes out with arguably the best multiplayer in any Call of Duty. I love MW2 to death, but I gotta give props to Black Ops 2 in that regard. Black Ops 2 multiplayer is probably the greatest multiplayer in any Call of Duty. It's not my favorite, but is it probably the best one? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And so do you see what competition does? Call of Duty started going balls to the wall and they were just like, fuck it, we, we have to put out the best game every year. And that's why Call of Duty is who they are. That's why Call of Duty is the franchise it is today, is because of that competition. But when you have no competition anymore, because Halo 4's player base fell off in the first year, then what happened? Nothing, nothing gets improved upon. After Black Ops 2, besides Ghost DLC and the character customization in AW, which I do know was pretty good besides the supply drops. But like when I say character customization, I mean like the premise, you could customize everything on your person. I'm pretty sure after Black Ops 2, what improvements did Call of Duty make? None. Black Ops 2 is like the pinnacle of COD. And why is that? Because Call of Duty doesn't have any competition. Call of Duty needs competition in order for Call of Duty to be better. That's how competition works. And like, I don't want you guys to think I'm hating on Call of Duty because I love COD. I love the Call of Duty franchise. And you know, I'll probably always play the Call of Duty franchise because, you know, I, it, it's fun for me. Could you guys like imagine a free to play arcade style first person shooter for console and it was multi-platform because they're independent and they don't have an exclusive deal with a certain company it had custom games that were fun maybe even a forge mode dude imagine making custom call of duty maps that show would be nuts that would be really hard to do for cod but like it's an idea and they could take the halo reach progression system and armor customization system and put that in in a modern shooter game like dude like oh my god i've always wanted cod to do something like that you know, it probably never happened. Like, something like that, man. That'd be nuts. Basically, just take Black Ops 2 League Play and put it in this fucking game. Not obviously, it wouldn't be named Black Ops 2. It would j literally just be copy and paste. I guarantee you, if that was free, and then they just added microtransactions, and if they had dope skins too, absolute banger. Absolute banger. I should be a dev. I hope that Halo Infinite comes out and is just a banger because it'll shake things up or if not or if just like a free to play first person shooter comes out for a console god it, it, it would it would change it would change things man i'm telling you guys it would change things that's that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys did enjoy let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about a free to play arcade style of shooter like call of duty or halo coming out and just you know taking the world by storm and you know giving call of duty some competition do you guys think the call of duty needs competition or do you guys think it doesn't really need competition? Uh, personally, I, I think it does. And we probably won't see much change from devs unless it gets competition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good jazz. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.
Goodbye.